Hey guys, Jusassini here and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be checking out episode 7 of my Diamond City project and we are up to doing some cluttering in the kitchen guys. So at first guys, a very quick look around to see where we got up to on the last episode. A thank you to all of my new subscribers and of course my old subscribers and everybody in between. I really appreciate it guys. The timer has counted, so let's start cluttering. So up goes a shelf, as I think a shelf would look fantastic right above the stereo. We're going to be putting a terminal. So it looks like that we can lock up our freezer and pantry, but also read some hollow tapes at the same time. Up goes some shelves where we can put some easy to reach items that we are going to use on a day to day basis. When I decorate or clutter up my kitchens I do like to make it look as realistic as possible and that starts with putting the right items in the right places. So guys, as you can see, as I'm going through my workshop and I find items that I think will be suitable for the kitchen, I just like to sit them out, knowing that I will move them straight into where they belong, or roughly where they'll belong, and then I'll just sort of put them in a better order when I get up to that area. It just saves getting items one at a time out of the workshop, because guys, when it comes to cluttering, it is a slow process, so little tricks like that do help speed it up. So guys, we're going to put some Vim Cola or some Vim on the right side, some Nuka Cola on the left side, and of course we're going to put some really cool doilies. Now my wife has a few of these around the house, and if I touch them I am in the shit. So guys, I am going to put some on my stereo, so if my wife watches this video, she will have a smile. So up goes an empty case which just represents we've already had a few brewskis and a few empty bottles on top to really lock in the realism of that. So guys, some board games in case we have guests and we get very bored. Well, we can play some board games guys. Always going to have some board games somewhere in the kitchen. So in goes the guards, of course the gnomes will be stopping the mare from getting into our pantry and stealing our food, so we've got a few guards up guys. So some well needed coffee, I always have coffee in my kitchen, and this kitchen is no different. So guys, this week's shout out goes to Jet Jaguar. Now Jet does some fantastic law friendly builds in Fallout. So guys, I do recommend checking out his channel. He does build some really cool stuff. So I will leave Jet's channel link down in the description. So 
so up go some salt and pepper shakers and a little bit of sauce because at the end of the day guys it does look very very natural to have that sitting somewhere near the table. So up goes a timer so we do not burn that gorgeous roast that's in the oven. Using law friendly decorations is one way to dress down your kitchen and make it look like it's still fitting within the Fallout 4 game world. So I think those nice little plants really do finish off that shelf quite nicely and now it's time to put some plants each side of the stereo and you'll find that's why I left the space there when I placed the crates. So guys I absolutely love cluttering, it really does add believability to your build and whether you're decorating pre-war or post-war, using Fallout Nostalgia Clutter is one way to still keep that Fallout look. The bottom shelf of the bookcase really does look quite fitting and like I said before guys it's something that you would expect to find right near your table and chairs. So guys here is the first pan of bare bones and just from that little bit of decorating so far it's really made a difference. But guys we have a lot more cluttering to get through so let's get back into it. So of course some top shelf liquor, so where else would we put that? But up on the top shelf of course. If you've got kitties in the house you would be used to putting things like that up high. So we may as well put it up high here because we quite often see it at home. If we see it in the Fallout game world it will just add to the realism. So guys, if you like what you see, please hit the like button guys, it really does help this content go out to other Fallout 4 communities and of course other people that may enjoy it. So I'm just going to resize a couple of bobbleheads and stick them up each side of the alcohol and of course they are guarding the alcohol guys. So I think that shelf come up fantastic. So now it's time to put a little bit of clutter onto the brekkie bar and that's just going to break the breakfast bar up a little bit. So guys, I like reading a newspaper sometimes when I'm having my brekkie. Down goes an ashtray and of course a lighter but we don't smoke when we're eating guys that is a big no-no so of course the smoke is stubbed out and we can finish it off later on so up goes a little bit of clutter and of course we're going to have a carton of smokes and of course some cigars because that packet of smokes on the table has to have come from somewhere Pre-war money and coins always look great to leave around the place as it's another thing we do in real life. So in these nooks and crannies guys we are going to put a few empty boxes and of course a typewriter and maybe a broom. Just a few bits and bobs to fill in the space and it actually looks like that sometimes we would store these items here. So the key to believability when clutter decorating is putting the right items in the right places and guys they don't need to sit there all prim and proper and nice and square, you just slap them down as you would in real life. So some hollow tapes next to the stereo 
Now that's actually a hollow tape rack, so we can actually store our hollow tapes right next to the terminal. So once again guys, we're going to sneak some brick and brack down this particular little alleyway as leaving nooks and crannies is a great place to add junk which really does fill up the place with some great or well needed details. This mod was made by Matches Malone 89 quite some time ago and it was ported by Lando Commando very early in this year. So if you guys want to have a bit of fun and build a penthouse or any particular dwelling at Diamond City, I really do recommend this mod guys because so far I have got quite a bit of gear in here and I have not even touched the FPS yet which makes me very excited guys because it means I can clutter to the gutter when it comes to finishing off this penthouse. Now you'll see before I had a quick choice between a pre-war and a post-war toaster so I decided to choose the pre-war simply because it has some of the same textures as the scale sitting beside it. So we do not have any dishwashing liquid in this game guys, Abraxo cleans the lot. So of course we are going to put some Abraxo up here and whether we use it to clean the dishes or to scrub up our power armour that's what we've got to use guys so we must utilise what we have. A bit of rat sack in case we get a visitor we don't want. So I can tell you right now that I will more than likely be moving that duster because putting a duster which of course is a cleaning item right next to the vegetables is not cool. I mean the veggies are probably very radiated already but we don't want to add dust to the equation. So up goes some flowers guys as I think that is a great touch. So as you can see it has gone from something very simple and we are starting to achieve the cluttered look already. Up goes a pot rack so we can choose what pot we need when we are cooking our goodies. Pots and pans hanging up next to the stove always looks good and of course some cutlery is certainly imminent guys. We are not cavemen, we do not eat with our fingers. We might be in fallout but hey we've still got some integrity. I was going to put those particular towels on the oven handle so it looked like that they were hanging but then at the end of the day guys we would be covering up that gorgeous roast in the oven and that is just a waste of placement so putting the towels to the left hand side it still enables us to see our awesome roast that is brewing for dinner. Now guys I've seen this glass bowl full of uh, for veggies for quite some time so I'm going to resize this ceramic bowl and give this glass bowl a new finish and I think simple things like that really do make it stand out. I'm not really happy with the way this stainless steel light looks in this kitchen so I'm going to be changing that very shortly. But at first a couple of empty bottles laying around really makes the place look lived in. Mm -hmm. 
so you'll notice that I changed from a stainless steel hanging light to quite a law friendly hanging light and it make it look a little bit more believable to be within the Fallout universe. Putting a liquor sign near the alcohol is another great idea. You'll notice the colours in the signs is almost the same colour as the bottles on the shelves and that just helps tie it all in together. So something pretty cool coming up here guys, I am going to put some down lights in the bottom of these wall cupboards as my wall cupboards at home actually have down lights and I think they look fantastic so why not put them in this kitchen it's just adding a touch of originality to a pre-existing kitchen and that just helps make it your own so putting a poster that has got something to do with the item is always a good thing to do so if I have a nuca cola station or a nuca cola mixer station sitting in my build I will try and put a nuca cola poster somewhere near it. So I've decided to keep the lights here and I'm just going to bump them up so they do look like down lights and we're going to add some additional light emitters just to brighten up the lights a little bit. Sometimes the lights in Fallout aren't too bright and they do need a little bit of help. It's just going to make these standard lights a little bit more brighter. A quick swap over for the condiment shelf. We'll stick a little bit of food up there as that is a little bit more believable than what I had. So guys, you'll notice I will chop and change my mind every now and then when I decorate. So quite often when you are decorating, you will put something in place and then you'll think of something better and you'll replace it. I think that's something we all do. And guys, we would not be normal if we did not do that. I hope. So we don't have semi-elliptical rugs in Fallout. So we'll place our own down and that way we've got something comfortable to stand on when we're doing our dishes. And of course a Nuka Cola rug will really help tie these colours together. So guys, this pantry I stack pretty much item by item. So when I'm cluttering up areas guys, quite often I will put some pre-clutter up on the shelves. Now the prefabs that I add is basically reserving FPS or polygon count. So as you know, all decorations have a certain poly count. So if you know you are going to clutter up an area quite heavily, I like to use a couple of pre-cluttered items to reserve the polys so to speak. And as I start replacing it with hand placed items, I will snap, remove or scrap the pre-clutter that, that I placed earlier. So guys, another quick eye break. This is just to see where we're up to but also give the eyes a break from speed level design. And there's my little mate popping in at the side there. And of course, as soon as we flip back the other way, you're going to see that the clutter we have put in so far is really starting to bring this kitchen alive. So in goes a light into the meat freezer so we can see what we're doing. And a little bit of that light will just help radiate out into the pantry and we can see the items on the shelf a little bit better as well.
quite often my enhancements can actually change the build quite a lot. So guys, I cannot wait till I do the full tour on this particular penthouse, as I know a lot of these items are still going to be here, but I also know when I do my enhancements that this place is going to look quite a bit different yet again, and I cannot wait to show that to you guys. So of course in the pantry we will store backup of a few items that could go on the blink and need replacing. So over one side of the pantry I'm going to put mostly a lot of edible items and then of course in areas on the left hand side of the pantry we're going to put a little bit of brick and brack because in my pantry at home I know I have most of my shelves chocker blocks with food but I also have some brick and brack, brick and brack in there for example light bulbs, a uh, second toaster and a few other items just in case something breaks when you've got kids guys you always need to have backup Now grabbing two pots that are the same and shrinking one down, it just makes it look like we have a couple of sizes to choose from when we cook our dinners. As a few sizes to choose from, once again really does add to the realism. So guys, I feel right at home here with cluttering up. I love doing clutter decoration and I love adding realism to my builds through the art of decorating. So guys, as you see, when I clutter, I do place item one by one and yes that can be very time consuming but at the end of the day guys I have a ton of fun with decorating and I think that's the secret to making your decorating look very realistic is to add item by item because when we do the shopping and bring it home that's exactly what we do in our pantries so if we do it here in the Fallout game world we should get the same amount of realism as what we do in our own pantries, therefore making it look a lot more natural. So a few tins of pork and beans is a must, and I pretty much utilise all the food that Fallout has to offer. Thank you. 
So guys, we almost need to have some type of turrets just to protect that coffee. Because in real life, guys, I love my coffee. And I'm prepared for anything in this pantry to go missing. But I do like my coffee. A lot. So guys, you'll see me moving some pre-clutter up and down. And as I said before, that's just me reserving space for some more clutter. It's sort of like pre-booking the FBS or the poly, so to speak. So guys, if you want to see more content, don't forget to hit the like button. It is a very simple gesture and it really helps get this content out to the Fallout 4 community and other people that may enjoy it. Up goes some fancy lad snacks and guys I have got a sweet tooth so we must put some sweets into the cupboard. That is very important. So as you can see guys, it does take a lot of time to hand clutter, but when we have a bit of a look at the end of this, you'll notice why it is really worth doing it by hand. So guys, this is what the pantry looked like when we first constructed it, and of course now we have cluttered it up it looks absolutely fantastic. So going to bump this light down a little bit so it adds a little bit more light to the other shelves into the pantry and we can see what we're doing. So because this is right up on the top shelves I don't mind using a little bit of pre-clutter which is out of the line of sight A couple of rolling pins and guys be very careful not to piss off your wife because she will crack you with those rolling pins and I tell you what it really hurts. The amount of times I've been chased around the house with a rolling, no I'm just kidding. A little bit of extra salt and pepper so that, that way we can refill our shakers that are sitting out next to the table. And here we go guys, I'm going to resize down another chopping board and that just makes it look like we've got a bit of a choice to chop up a few different items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize these trays and I'm going to sit them inside each other which is exactly what happens when we're at home. Quite often you can buy different size baking trays and when we put them in our pantry we do sit them inside each other. So if we do it here it makes us think of at home and that actually adds to the believability. Adding nostalgic clutter is one way to add realism to your build. Also choosing the right item and putting it in the right places is certainly another way to add believability to your build. So 
also a couple more salt and pepper shakers because we can never run out of salt and pepper guys we need it when we cook Now I'm adding some small mist here from the settlement markers mod and that is really going to make this meat keeper look realistic and as you can see guys it is blowing mist and it actually does look like frost. So if you've got kitties you will be used to putting your medicines up nice and high so once again guys if we do it at home we do it in the game and that just gives us something to relate to as well. I will certainly be doing my version of Let's Builds and I will be using the speed level design method because I believe that is how I can show you guys more content in a smaller amount of time. One particular series I do miss and I am certainly bringing back is my Hermit Home series. I absolutely love doing my home at home series and I do like presenting a fully finished and decorated build. So guys I have not forgotten about those particular builds and I have got quite a few coming up. So if you guys want to check out some fully finished builds and some very realistic ones at that don't forget, to, don't forget to like and subscribe guys so you can see some of the cool builds that I have coming up. So we're just going to place a few hand placed items now and I'm just going to drop it straight from the Pip-Boy and of course turn it static. So I do like to add some glasses, some beer bottles and of course some food into the fridges. So what I've done now is I've just dropped a few items straight out of the pit boy onto the floor and we're dumping them into the trash can and that's just going to look like we're actually tidy people and we put our rubbish in the bin. So I think putting a glass right in the fridge door I think that looks very cool because it looks like we're sitting in there waiting for some nice fresh water and some ice cubes rather than an empty space. So up goes some milk is that something that we quite often use when we are baking a cake Slapping a few coins down with the set of keys also looks pretty believable. Now a little bit of junk just to shove down little junk alley here. When you decorate you really need to make it look like it's been lived in. So guys this is what we've come up with the kitchen so far and I think this kitchen has come along absolutely fantastic. Now once I get all the rooms up to this level of detail, before I do the full tour, I will be going through room by room and I will be doing what I class as enhancing the build. That's when I get most of my light bulb moments and I do make quite a few changes here and there which of course really does add to the believability of my builds. So as you can see the pantry has turned out very very well. Anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had a lot of fun doing the cluttering of the kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out too. So guys, take it easy, stay safe, 
and I'll catch you on the next episode. So bye for now.